So even though, um, even though this was budgeted, we don't we are not right to that if, if it were just allowed, it's allowed to be given up to that amount. But we're not held to that until we have a small unit in place, correct? That might be a question from the terms. Okay, that's 59. Okay. And we don't know where Ken is? Ken's on there. Sorry. Oh, Ken's on Zoom? Okay. Hello, everybody. We'll call this meeting to order. Welcome to the July 18th, 2022 Finance Committee meeting. Uh, Dr., uh, for folks in Zoom land, Dr. Aldridge is here uh, present in the committee room. Councilman Escabel and Councilman Johnson are present on Zoom. I'd like, like to ask all uh, online public and staff to please mute your devices. Uh, also, um, her, uh, folks here in the room, if you could turn your cell phones to vibrate. If you would like to make a public comment, please use the raise hand function if you're on Zoom or approach the uh, table here in person. Uh, there will be no additional business outside uh, the items listed on the agenda, although we will do have one extra item uh, today. And with that, I will call on Jen to please read the first agenda item. Number 10, ordinance third reading, amending various sections of chapter 5.12, alcoholic liquor and malt beverages of Title V, business licenses and regulations of the Code of the City of Cheyenne, Wyoming. Staff report, please. Mr. Chair, Jones, City Clerk, this ordinance is on third reading, and I think it's kind of self-explanatory, but if you have any additional questions, I'd be happy to answer them, and there's been no changes since second reading approval. Right, and this was just the language to include the uh, winery off-premises, correct? That is correct. Are there any, stand by, any questions from members of the public? Do I have a motion from the committee? I would so move. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Comments from the committee? Hearing none, all those in favor of this ordinance on third reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 As no one's opposed, that item moves forward. Next item, please. Number 14H, professional services agreement between the City of Cheyenne and HCR Engineering Incorporated for the pedestrian traffic study, safety study, and Hawk system design project, 2019 to 2022, 1% sales tax. Staff report, please. No staff report. Okay. So I can get you. Okay. Thank you. And just we know who you are. If you could identify yourself for folks. In all right. Room. Good afternoon. I'm Doug Klum, the construction manager for the city of Cheyenne. So I have all the details on this, but I am aware of the project that we're proposing to do. The um, I'm just talking. I'll pause and Mr. Cobb will take over. <laughs> <laughs> Doug's, he's off the hook. Doug was ready to go. Mr. Cobb, uh, this is we're on the item about the uh, pedestrian safety uh, traffic study and the Hawk system design project. Oh, great. So Tom Cobb, city engineer, the, the item before you is an agreement between HDR and the city of Cheyenne regarding the pedestrian traffic safety study and the Hawk system installation for the two, uh, one at McCormick and the other one for Pershing at four bags. And with that, I'll take any questions you might have. Just a quick question, Mr. Cobb. Could you explain uh, kind of what the Hawk system is? Um, we know that it's, we know what it's for. We know that it's put going to be implemented in uh, two very busy uh, crosswalk areas where school student safety is is in somewhat jeopardy um, and then we all know about the great tragedy in front of McCormick um, 
So if you could just maybe describe what the Hawk system is. Sure, Mr. Chairman. So the, if you, the one, we only have one in, in service right now. That's the one on Yellowstone. Um, so it's gonna be similar to that. So it, it creates higher visibility, obviously for both, uh, for the vehicles traveling and, and aware that there's a pedestrian there. So normally we just do those and reserve them for arterials and above. Like it's a major collector normally not used, but in this case, um, highly needed and, and more visibility. So it looks like a signal and it, it's actuated by the, the, the user. They, they push the button and it tells them that it's there and it goes into a queue and then the system's actuated. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. Um, stand by, any comments or questions from members of the public? Do I have a motion from the committee? Can, I, can we make comments or questions first? Um, I, I went out of my normal procedure. I did. So sorry. I'll ask for comments okay. and questions okay. from the committee. I would oh, make yes. a, a motion to uh, approve this in an amount not to exceed $73,271. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Comments from members of the or questions from members of the committee? I just, if, if Chairman White, through you, I, the only question I had, um, Tom, is in reading this, it looks like this $73,000 is simply for the planning of the project. It's not to actually install the, the equipment, correct? Chairman White, through you yeah. to Dr. Aldridge. Dr. Aldridge, that's correct. This is just for the implementation portion, not the construction itself. So okay. it's the planning document and the construction documents. Right. So we still have to go through some analysis just to ensure that we're doing the right thing. And if there's anything that we've missed. That's right. I just wanted to make sure that it didn't include the installation. So. Thank you for that clarification. Other <laughs> comments or questions from the committee? Hearing none, all those in favor of this professional services agreement, please signify by saying aye. 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 All, uh, Dr. Aldridge is an aye. Richard's on mute. Are there, oh, there is, there's another aye. Those opposed? And Mr. Johnson, I think you are on mute. Sorry, I was an aye. But at any rate, the item moves forward. So next item, please. Um, okay, I think we're back. So, Richard, can you just verify if you were for the item or against the item? So, if you just go mm -hmm. out of your way, you must have thought it was him. Escabel was an mm -hmm. I. <laughs> Jen, this is uh, Patrick. I, I heard Richard say I. Think, I. Think, isn't it? Thank you, uh, Mr. Escobel. We're trying to regain uh, touch with Mr. Johnson. The city building lost power for a brief moment, and so the internet went down. Yeah, mine went down too. Richard, I'm trying to promote you to a panelist.
Kendi yeri. Thank you. Do you want to read that again? Please. Number 14I, professional services agreement between the City of Cheyenne, Cheyenne Metropolitan Planning Organization, MPO, and AVIPC for the Powerhouse Road, road Corridor Plan, MPO federal funds. Staff report, please. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Jenny Stevens, a senior transportation planner with the Cheyenne MPO. The Cheyenne MPO is requesting the approval of a professional services contract for the Powderhouse Road Quarter Plan. This contract is for ABI, the selected consultant, to provide engineering analysis and public engagement for the recommendation of improvements for Powderhouse Road from Del Range Boulevard to Highway 85 uh, for a total contract cost of uh, $147,694.80 using MPO federal funds. Uh, the proposed phasing of the project consists of three uh, phases, including preliminary planning as the first phase, um, uh, new and supplemental data collection as phase two, and um, uh, public process and jurisdictional meetings as phase three. And I can elaborate more on those phases if you'd like. Thank you, standby. Any comments or questions from members of the public? Hearing none, uh, do I have a motion from the committee? I would move to approve an amount not to exceed $147,694.80. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Comments or questions from members of the committee? Hearing none, all those in favor of this professional services agreement, please signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. That item moves, no one's opposed. That item moves forward. Next item, please. Number 14J, agreement between the City of Cheyenne and the Cheyenne Animal Shelter for Animal Shelter Services. Staff report, please. Hello, Ms. Tennant. Hello, it's nice to see you. It's nice seeing you. Welcome. Thank you, Brittany Tennant with the Shining Animal Shelter. Um, before you is a copy of the contract that we've worked with the city on for the coming year. Um, it doesn't have any changes over the previous year. So it's the same contract that this committee approved last year with the exception of a transfer of equipment that was done last year through the contract and it's been completed now. Um, this is sheltering expenses only for animals who require animal sheltering services due to the obligation presented by uh, local and city statute. So these are animals that come to the animal shelter via animal control through the legal obligation to enforce city and state code. Um, and these are the, this is the cost that the shelter incurs in order to care for those animals. So right now we're asking for a total of $528,000 for the year. Great. Um, stand by. Sure. Are there any comments or questions from members of the public? Hearing none, do I have a motion from the committee? Are we, are we can I get to make comments? Um, well, I'd like to do the motion okay. and then do comments okay. or questions. Is there a motion? Uh, do I have a motion from the committee? Mr. Chair, I move to approve the amount. Sorry, we have an echo. $528,000. Actually, you sound good on my end. It's been moved. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Comments or questions from members of the committee? Dr. Aldrich. Thank you, uh, Chairman White. So I actually have a list here. I did not, it refers to an addendum one that is, was not attached. So I would be interested in seeing addendum one. Um, as on, under number six, under contractor's responsibilities, did you have an addendum on yours? No. I'm sorry, I, I did provide it to the city attorney. I thought that she would have forwarded it to me. Okay, we did not get it. So, so if we could get that. I have a paper copy of it. Okay, great, thank you. Um, 
Okay, so number under number six, under item B, um, I would like to uh, amend this to remove the term, uh, the word long term. It says the contractor shall provide um, long term housing and adequate care for all animals placed under its custody by the Animal Control Authority and our law, local law enforcement. I would like that to read just that the contractor shall provide housing and adequate care for all animals placed under its custody by the Animal Control Authority and our law, local law enforcement. Um, I believe that the contract in itself talks about when it's determined um, long care would be needed and it gives the provisions for that under item um, so we, D. We deal with this one first. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. You want to amend to remove the word long term. Right. On a number six letter B. Right. Because okay. it's it's dealt with in letter D. Okay. Yeah. Do we have a second? Sorry. Is there a second on the amendment from Dr. Aldrich? It's been moved to amend uh, section 6B uh, to include the language Dr. Aldrich had uh, indicated. So do I have a second on that amendment? Yes, Gabel, second. It's been moved and seconded. Comments from the committee on the amendment. Hearing none, all those in favor of the amendment signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? I, don't, I think we might have lost. Oh, Richard said add him as a panelist. Sorry. Richard, you're in as a panelist. You should be able to unmute yourself. Okay, I'm a no. What was that? I don't know. Did Are you? you okay, uh, so can you hear me okay now? Yes, we can. Okay, I'm Our a no. Still... Right, just okay. okay, he's a no, he said. Okay. Uh, Dr. Aldridge and Councilman Escobel are in fit, uh, vote yes on the amendment. Richard Johnson uh, votes no. Uh, as two to one, that amendment passes. Dr. Aldridge? So my next item is on 6F. It says the contractor shall pay the daily operating expenses of the animal shelter. And um, I'm just curious as to if we know what the daily amount is of the operating expenses of the animal shelter. Okay, yeah. and what is that? I would have to provide you financial statements, but we obviously keep detailed records, so I could show you what those are. If okay, you if you could, them. yeah, if you could provide us with what the daily amount is um, to operate the shelter, that would be helpful. Um, then the next one, G, says the contractor shall take reasonable steps to spay or neuter animals before adoption. So I'm wondering what the cost is to spay or neuter animals before adoption and um, I'm assuming that that happens after the 10 day waiting period while we're waiting for them to be a, um, retrieved by their owners that we're not just randomly neutering and spaying animals. We don't spay and neuter animals until they become the legal property of the shelter. Okay, so if we could get a cost for that, that would be great as well. Then number H, the contractor shall provide periodic listings of all lost and found animals handled by the contractor. Um, and I'm just curious what periodic is. Is that monthly? Is that every six months? Is it annual? It's a live update on our website, real time live update. Okay. And then um, I, my question was about um, I don't see anywhere under the responsibilities, contractors' responsibilities, um, A through N, where it talks about um, the employment of a veterinarian that that's going to be one of the responsibilities of the contractor. Even though the veterinarian services are referred to, um, it doesn't talk about employing a veterinarian. Well, in the past, before the shelter did employ a veterinarian, uh, the shelter outsourced these services as it was able to, um, but currently now does employ itself. So the question of whether the contract mandates the employment of a veterinarian has not come up before. Okay, so um, because it's referred to in another part of the contract. I think you're referring to 6J. 
uh, yes, uh, where it says the shelter is veterinarian. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would like to amend this agreement to add a letter O that would um, state that the contractor shall employ um, a veterinarian or um, however you want to word that, Stephanie, or make arrangements to contract for a veterinarian as one of the responsibilities of the contractor. Okay, so it's uh, Dr. Aldridge has moved to amend uh, to add a section O uh, in which uh, the language would read, um, not being wordsmith quite yet, but the contractor shall employ, employ a, veterinarian a veterinarian or contract veterinarian services. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. So uh, are, is there any? So we have a motion. So I have a motion and I need a second. Is there a second on the proposed amendment? Um, as there is no second, uh, that motion to amend has failed. Uh, floor okay. still yours, Dr. Aldrich. So uh, with that, I guess, because we haven't amended that, we're going to assume that they're going to employ a veterinarian. Um, or I'm hopeful that that's actually the case. I think that those were, that was the end of the questions that I had, um, but I appreciate, um, thank you for the addendum. And so, Great. thank you. Thank you, Dr. Aldridge. Are there other comments or questions from members of the committee? Hearing none, all those in favor of this agreement as amended, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Internet. So Richard, you're still muted. And Ken is still there. Ken, are you still on? Aye. He says aye. Okay. Escabel, aye. Great. Thank you, Mr. Escabel. Richard? I'm a no. Okay, uh, Councilman Johnson and Dr. Aldridge voting yes. Uh, Richard, uh, Councilman Johnson, <laughs> Councilman Escobar, excuse me, and Dr. Aldridge voting yes, Councilman Johnson voting no. That item moves forward ne as amended. Next, oh, we that is the items that were listed on the uh, agenda. We thank do you. have one more item, thank you, Brittany. We do have one more item uh, for the agenda. Agenda. So, uh, Jen, please read that one. Contract modification number one to contract number 7255 between the City of Cheyenne and Simon Contractors for the East 12th Street and Meadow Drive Mill and Overlay Project for additional for the addition of storm sewer improvements. Staff report, please. Good afternoon, Finance Committee. Doug Klein, City Construction Manager. The proposal you have in front of you for a contract modification is like it said, um, the addition of storm sewer. We're looking to add approximately 640 feet of storm sewer um, off of the meadow main line that is going to benefit a lot of the surface water that stands there and, and um, deteriorates the road surface that we're currently repairing. Um, the reason for the late add on this is that we were not aware that we could actually improve the situation when we put this project together, but we would like to do it now so that we could avoid going back into what has been resurfaced recently and digging the street back up. And I will stand for questions. Thank you. Stand by. Comments or questions from members of the public? Hearing none, do I have a motion from the committee? I would, I would move to approve the amount not to exceed um, do you want me to hold contract amount? One million two hundred and seventy-two thousand four hundred sixty-two dollars and sixty cents to this modification. It's, is there a second? It's been moved and seconded. Comments or questions from members of the committee? When you're ready. Go ahead, Mr. Johnson. So, Doug, can you explain since we just resurfaced this how we're actually going to do stormwater? Um, well, as you just described it, how are we going to do that without tearing up what we just put down? Through you, Mr. Chairman. Councilman Johnson, we, we stopped short of where this tie-in will be. 
that this drainage system will start at Foxen Court, come down Silverton, and then make its way down Meadow into an existing inlet system. So we've had the contractors stop short of that inlet system so that we could get this approved and then finish off the rest of the surfacing on Meadow. Okay, that answers it, Jeff. Any other comments or questions from members of the committee? Dr. Aldrich. Uh, Chairman White, through you, I just wanna say thank you to uh, your office for having the foresight to do that before you had to dig it up and for making sure that we weren't duplicating and being redundant. Great. Uh, there are no other comments or questions from the committee. All those in favor of this contract modification, please signify by saying aye. 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 As no one's opposed, that item moves forward. No other items on the agenda. This meeting is adjourned. Have a great frontier. Thanks, Kim. I'm going to hang up.